Okay, so today we are going to go over how to generate reports from the QR code system so that we can take a look at when uh, certain units were delivered, serviced, and picked up. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is head to our QR code maintenance screen. And in a previous video, uh, I talked a little bit about what this screen um, is capable of doing. And again, if you need to navigate to the screen, all you have to do is click the Rental Info button along the top toolbar of the service program Desktop Software, and then select QR Code Maintenance. So once we are at this screen, we can go ahead and click the Reports button in the top right corner. And that will open up this screen right here, labeled QR code reporting. Now the nice thing about this screen is it gives us lots of flexibility on how we want to generate our report. Uh, you can, of course, input a start date and an ending date. Those fields are required. But you also have the option to potentially narrow down the report by parent. Maybe you need to take, maybe you need to run a report uh, to view a scan history of all QR codes a parent company is renting from you. You can also narrow it down by customer. Maybe you want to look at, hey, all of the scans for our assets for a particular customer, you could absolutely use this drop down right here and select that customer. You can also run a report on just a QR code. So maybe you know that a portable toilet has been rented to multiple customers and somewhere uh, along the line it was damaged and you're trying to figure out who may have possibly damaged it. You could also use this drop down and select the QR code number. And then when we run our report, it'll yield the results for all scans that occurred to that QR code. But for the purpose of today's training, we're just going to use these top two fields. We're going to input a start date and an ending date. Maybe I want to take a look at um, all scans that have taken place over the past two months. So we'll go ahead and input March 1st, 2019 as our start date. And as our end date, April 30th, 2019. Once I input those required parameters, I can go ahead and click Run Report. And as you can see, I did scan a few QR codes. So it looks like QR code 1000 on March 28th at 9.46, we delivered a unit out to Alfonso's Pizza. And this was the latitude and longitude where the scan took place. And then on April 4th, we scanned the QR code again for Alfonso's Pizza, and this time we scanned it for service. And then the last scan took place on April 11th, and as you can see, that was for a pickup. When you run this report, especially over a large date range, you may be given a lot of results. Uh, you can absolutely search for a specific QR code right here so that it will narrow down the list to display that QR code. This button in the top right corner it's an icon of an arrow pointing in a northeast direction. Is a button that would allow us to export this report. So if I go ahead and click that button, we can then select the format of the export. So if you want to get this into Excel, you can absolutely hit this drop down and then select CSV. That'll create a CSV file, which of course can be opened in Excel. So those are some of the, the nice things that you can do from a reporting aspect. 
here with the QR code system. And uh, stay tuned for some following videos. And uh, we'll be able to go over some other things that you can get out of using the service program.